Hello, Mayors. It's Build It with Smith. Welcome to SimCity Build It and this tutorial for all new beginners. I have done this series a couple of times uh, before and I felt I just needed to update it. So let's jump right into it. Right now we're looking at the City Journal. And that's basically uh, a way kind of like a, a lot of different tasks that you can do in the game and get rewards. So you can see here that after doing three tasks, which are easy to achieve early in the game, you can get a surprise reward. Um, I wouldn't just jump into spending money just yet. Uh, even the little 50 sim cash that you have. Uh, let's put some nails into production. What I would like to say is concentrate on production and building your city at this point. I wouldn't spend any sim cash until you get uh, you know, up above level four or something like that. So just looking at some more of the tasks that they have, that is what I would use as the gauge to uh, propel you on to the next levels. And a lot of it is gonna have to do with upgrading. So uh, I would do that too. But um, let's just take a look around at what I've got. Of course, I already went through the tutorial and I would say go ahead and go through the tutorial to get you from level one to two because it's pretty easy. So, you know, don't waste any time there, but um, I'm going to go ahead and extend this road. That's actually one of the one of the tasks that we just got. So you see there it says progress, meaning that we are progressing. Um, and, you know, like I said, I didn't really arrange anything uh, in the tutorial. So now we're just kind of getting to setting up a little bit of the infrastructure and you can follow along. You can do it exactly like I'm doing it now, or you could add, uh, whatever type of creativity you want to, to it, but you really don't have to worry about any fancy city designs or anything like that. I would say until you get, um, the service buildings unlocked, you know, in the game later on, uh, you'll start to unlock service buildings. Uh, which are fire, fire department, police, and health department, hospitals and clinics and all that sort of stuff. And that will all bring another uh, realm uh, into the game. But so for right now, I would just stick to trying to separate your pollution data layers. That was the brown that you just saw there. That is your pollution. And typically you don't want your houses like we have over here next to them because the little green smiley faces that you saw will turn into yellow or maybe red, sad, or mad faces. So you wanna to try to separate everything. Now it isn't a bad deal to put your, uh, right now I've got the, the building store, the building supply store right across the street from my buildings. That's not a big problem because the residences actually like to be close to stuff like that as well as the city, um, the city hall that we have but like i said pretty quickly just to advance you through the grain uh, game you just want to upgrade your buildings and in order to do that you're going to need um raw material in some cases like the metal or the wood and in other cases you may need to actually build something with that raw material which is like these nails that we have here at the building supply store those things uh you know, you click on the hard hats there and, and it will tell you what recipes you need to do your next upgrade. And I think there's six upgrade levels uh, for each building. So eventually you'll get a skyscraper and that's how that happens. Uh, but, but so anyway, just getting back to it, we have three factories right now. I think you can maybe get some more. I don't know at this level really. Uh, yeah, I think you can get maybe five or something like that at this level. Um, but again, you don't want them running all over the place because then you have to deal with the pollution. So these at this level, the one that you get for free, only gives you two production slots. And if, as you buy more, if you want to buy some and they get a little bit better, as well as the production, uh, the pollution data layers sit, sort, shrink. Oh, I can't talk. The, per, the per, pollution data layers sink as you get better um better factories and uh at one level you can get the factories that are even uh they don't produce any at all they are green all right so looking here at this one task we've got to upgrade one more building and then we will unlock 
whatever kind of uh, whatever kind of prize they have there for us. So um, let's see what we need. Oh, there it is, right there. And let's see what our surprise reward is. Is it going to be money? Yes, it's going to be simoleons. And if you don't know by now, the simoleons is going to be how you purchase things in the game. Now, some things you spend the sim cash, which is we have 50 of those right there. And other things you you uh, you buy with the simoleons. Um, most of your stuff is going to cost simoleons. Um, but if you have something, you know, specialized buildings, that sort of thing, uh, if they're running any type of uh, uh, rewards like uh, contests and things like that, uh, a lot of those things are going to cost the sim cash. And that is actually equal to real money. I think you can get, I don't know what it is, something like, let's say, five, or no, it's not that much. I, I don't know what it is, but let's just say, for instance, you know, for $5, you can get 500 sim cash. I don't know. You can click on it yourself and see what it is. Now, I just traveled to Daniel City. Daniel is, uh, what's a good way to explain him? He's just kind of like, um, uh, he has his own thing going on. It's like the computerized, uh, one of your computerized neighbors here. So you can kind of get an idea of, of how you can set your city up. I mean, he's not that far along, but I went over here today to get to his trade depot. And sooner or later, you'll unlock a trade depot and can make trades yourself and earn sim uh, simoleons, sorry. But in this case, I just wanted to use a couple of his nails and his materials so that I can do that final uh, upgrade there, which has now pushed me up to level three. And that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, we'll maybe talk a little bit more here about some things I may have missed, but basically that is your first upgrade um, on your own. You know, you did the first one in the tutorial, but here we are on our own and you're rolling with building with Smith. So I'm going to be dropping one of these videos, um, hopefully every week, uh, each, each week a different level. Um, and I don't know when I will stop it. I have another count um, up there in the levels above 50, I think. I can't remember where precisely. So um, there's a lot of things to upgrade and to unlock in this game i've been playing it since it came out which was like uh december of 2014 so if you're new don't worry there's a lot of new mayors that are uh, constantly downloading the game even today and that's one of the main reasons that i wanted to go ahead and make this video and make this series to help you guys out so this has been build it with smith i'll catch you guys on the next video don't forget to subscribe